Good morning. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration, and today we offer this Mass for all the Polish people, asking God to protect them and to bless them that they may do their work of keeping order for us and for all your intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In order that we may celebrate this month worthily, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escape the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love I have loved you, so I have kept my mercy towards you. Again I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt. O virgin Israel, carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchman will call out on Mount Ephraim, Rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob, Exult at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, the young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy 
I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon, but he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in a reply, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, the summary of these two readings is the word perseverance, perseverance in prayer. Perseverance in putting before God our petitions, our intentions. The first reading, we see Jeremiah. His mood is changing from destruction to to restoration. And he begins to say and tell the people that you see, now that you are turning away from your sins, now that you are recognizing and welcoming God in your lives, God restores you. And his love is everlasting and he will continue to love you with an everlasting love, a promise of God to each one of us, that in sin we are scattered. When we repent, God brings us back. He brings us together. He restores. This is your opportunity today and for me, that every day when we recognize our small mistakes in life or big mistakes in life, and faithfully ask for God's pardon, he restores us, he brings us back, and he begins to love each one of us with unending love. In the gospel, this woman comes before Jesus and asks, pleads if he can heal, if he can heal. And Jesus turns a deaf ear to her, but the woman insists, Lord, we hear he paid, she paid homage, meaning that she honored Jesus. She recognized him as Lord, and she continued to ask, Lord, have mercy, have pity on me. Even when Jesus begins to say he's sent to the house of Israel, 
because he's in Tyre and Sidon. These are places believed to have been where Cain, the brother of Abel, uh, shifted to after killing his brother. So it's a place for the sinners, those rejected, but that is where Jesus is. And he's doing this miracle, and that's where this woman comes to plead for Jesus, meaning that every time when we persevere in asking the Lord for how long it takes, he will grant it to us. Like this woman, she insists, even when she sees Jesus is not paying attention, she says, no, he has the power. I am not going to give up. He has something for my child. And she also insists, she perseveres. How many times do we persevere in our prayers? How many times do we persevere asking God for our necessities, for something that we need? Do we give up? When you say your prayer, your rosary, for one week after 90 days, one month, one year, do you give up? Jesus invites you and me to persevere. Let us learn from this lady, this woman, the Canaanite, meaning she's not a Jew. Her perseverance brings healing to her son, to her daughter. We pray that you and me may always persevere in our prayer, be it a prayer as you go to work, Ask the Lord every day. He will, regret, he will grant it to you because he loves you with an everlasting love. May the good Lord restore each one of us today in his love. Let us stand and present our petitions. We thank you, Lord, for this new day that you have given to us and ask for your everlasting love to each one of us in our difficulties and in our joys. Help us to recognize this everlasting love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church leaders that as they guide us in Christ Jesus, you may fill them with this everlasting love for the people that they care for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, that the good Lord may continue to look after them and restore those that are lost on the way, who have lost their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the police officers for whom this mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. For all our sick brothers and sisters, members of this parish, that the good Lord may continue to restore their lives with good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your intentions. That the good Lord who reads our minds and our hearts may grant you your basic needs and all those that you present to him in our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, ever-living God, Grant us, your servants, what we most need because you love us with an everlasting love and you continue to heal us. Grant us these petitions that we have presented to you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, Giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Bless your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the lamp of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Accompany with constant protection, O oh Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.